Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have been searching all over trying to find a invitation with a menu. I can't find that. I found a menu which was a one page document and I would have typed that for you already. Cannot find any invitation. Can't find any program or, or invitation that would be in a, um, a book fold form. All right. But I found this leaflet. Now this past paper, cover your ears. It's from 2001, but nonetheless, the concept is still the same, all right? Now, back then, they used to use typewriters. Now, we're using the computers, and as such, the graphics, etc., that we would normally have in our documents now, we're not going to see that coming out in the question, but at least if you go through it with me, most of the concepts are still the same. It still has manuscript styles. It still speaks about all caps. It still speaks about centering information, etc. And so you can learn something from this um, question here today. All right. Um, so the question is before me. It says, prepare an attractive two-page leaflet using a full sheet of paper folded in two. Insert the narrow edge of the folder. Insert the narrow edge of the folded paper. All right, so it speaks about, so it's two pages that we're going to be writing on. However, the paper must be folded in two. So it simply means that once the paper is folded in two, it's the outer part, the front part, which would be the cover, and then you open it, and then the part that you look at, which would normally be our page three, that will have the information for the inside. All right, page two will not have anything. All right, so for the cover page, it says, Caribbean inter-island airways and two lines underneath any word or letter, right, says that that should be in all capital letters. So it is Caribbean inter-island airways. Then it says leave nine clear line spaces for a graphic. So we're going to, a graphic should be between here. However, because this was back then, as it relates to typewriters, you couldn't insert any graphic. For us today, we can insert a graphic, all right? So I don't know if I'm going to, I think I may type it without the graphic, and towards the end, I insert a graphic for you to see the difference, all right? Because definitely for you, being in um, 2021, you will be required to insert a graphic, all right? So I don't know if I, when I'm typing, I may choose to um up this question by inserting the graphic rather than leaving the nine clear spaces. All right. Um, it says, after we have done that, announces should be in space capital letters, which is one space between each letter. It's post, this is crossed out, Millennium Specials. And it should be in all capitals. I'm looking at the double line under it. All right. And between that, it says, allow six clear line spaces. And then we type the date, 6 July to 30 September 2021. All right. And then because this is centered, as you can see here, it's a centered style. So it simply means that the date that is currently in the block style format needs to be changed to July 6 to September 30, 2021. And that would be the cover page. The inside page says, swing into the new Century, this is crossed up, but lines are under it, which speaks about step. Here it is, to remain as is or to leave unchanged. All right, so once we have done that, then we put come fly with us in space capitals. All right, now I'm seeing some X's here. It simply means that we should put a design here, right? Because what this is doing is separating what is above it from what is below. All right, so we can choose to put that design there. It can be X's or it can be anything, but something to separate it, to show that it's a different section that we're going into. All right, so that was the heading, come fly with us. Then it says, affordable fares to, and I'm seeing the insert sign, so I look to the left, I'm not seeing anything. I look to the right. Here is a sign with the word, many destinations. Then it says, Germany, London, then the transport sign. So it simply means that London should come before Germany then Toronto and New York, all right? It says, um, and here's a transport sign, right? It says, take the whole cross with the lines under it to the left, step, remain as is. So it should be take the whole entire is crossed out, family. And this is definitely crossed out, all right? Then I see those, light, um, those X's again. So that's a different section that we're entering into a different section now that says U, W, L, 
meaning will, that's the abbreviation for will, not regret. And that should be in space capital letters. Then we're entering to another section, call us at, and if you realize that after those X's, the next thing that we're entering speaks of something completely different from what was there before. All right. And because it is on one page inside, just the inside page there, right, on page three only, then something like this is needed to separate the sections for, for two. All right. So it says, call us at, and the number is given, 95, the transpose sign between it says so should read 59, or visit one of our agents. Then there are two agencies, Rose Travel Agency, and to the right, what is this? B-O-Y-C-E, Boyce Agency, and the information. Then it says justify. So it simply means that today, what is this? To the left, we'll have Rose's information. All right, and that is justified. Everything is lined up on the left. And then Boyce's information should be to the right of the page being justified, lined up right there. All right, and then the final instruction says typist. The entire exercise in caps, please. The entire exercise in caps, please, and look for special instructions. So everything that we're seeing here should be in all capital letters. All right? So although it's from 2001, right, it still has meaning today. All right, so let us see how best we can go to Microsoft Word and do this. All right, let me not do that, but split my screen instead. All right, so here we are. So first things first. Oh, hold on. So I'm going to go on no spacing. Times New Roman font size 12. I'm going to go on layout, page layout. Now, when I select page layout, my computer is on um, one inch all around by default. I'm going to select orientation, landscape. All right. So when it goes into the landscape orientation, then I'm going to go on columns and I'm going to go to more columns and I'm going to select two columns. All right. And press OK. So this is the page four. This is page one, which would be my cover page. And then we go on the next page, then we go on page three to type the information inside. So this is the page that I want. All right. So hold on. So I'm going to go on my page. Just press my enter key to take me to page, the cover page. All right. So let me go back here. Or maybe I should switch these things around. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. All right, so we we'll start out by saying Caribbean International Inter Island Airways. Inter Island Airways. All right, then it says to leave nine. Oh, it says center alignment. So let me just start off with center alignment. All right, that's everything we just put in the center. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we go to announces a space. So we're doing space gaps now. Announces its right. Normally we do double space between these things. All right, it's post millennium m e l l m i l l e n m i u m millennium specials millennium specials and it says leave 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 then we do the date, July 6th to September 30, 2001. All right. And that's it for the cover page. All right. It really looks like typewriter days. Um, so I think I may insert the graphic um, when we're through. All right. Um, so I'm going to. 
I'm going to press my enter key to take me on the next page. Now this is my page two, but I cannot put the information on this page because once the page is folded, this would be the front. So once I open this page, this page would be on the back of it. And that would not make sense for me to have the other pages, page three and four, if I'm doing that. So the information must be on the page three. All right, so here I am on the page three. All right, so this is the inside page. Let me small it up again. All right, what are we asked to do? It says swing into, swing into the new century. Into the new century. Then we have come fly, come fly with us in space gaps. Uh oh. So space gaps is one space between letters and three spaces. One, two, three. Three spaces between letters. So that's it. Come fly with us. Then it says we put those X's there. So double space, then the X's. Now it can be any symbol that you so desire. All right, what am I going to press? Can be, can be this, the at symbol, anything to spice up the work. All right, because I needed to back then to do something for the work to pop. All right, so put a double space again and go to the next thing. Affordable. Affordable fares to many, many destinations. All right. After that, it says London, Germany. Toronto, New York. All right. Then we go down and it says, take the, take the whole family. Take the whole family. And then we do a design again. So they had the X's. Let me show you how that would look if we had used it. That's how it would have looked. All right. I'm just using the A's. All right. Take the whole family. Where are we now? So you will. Double space. Then we go. You. You will. Space gaps. Luckily, I looked. All right, so you um, two, three. You will not regret. You will not regret. You will not regret. All right, good. Go again. Call us at three five seven six two. And then we have a transposition, so that should be five nine. Uh oh, got yeah, five nine. All right, or enter. Or visit one of our agents. Right. Let me see how this looks with the space in between it. Right. Or visit one of our agents. So we're putting in the agent's information now. Right. So how am I going to do this? To the left, 
we should have our order. Roses Travel Agency. I'm going to tap to the right for B O Y C E Boys Agencies. Then we have 25 Kings Street. And 15 Market Street. Alright, note that the information should be justified, right? So we're pushing it over as far as it can go. Because it must be justified on this side. Not there. Alright, enter. Then we have T A S T R I E S, Castries, and the other one is St. John's. St. John's. And we're justifying it on that side. And finally, St. Lucia. St. Lucia, and we're tabbing over to Antigua. Antigua. Alright. So that looks like it. Alright, so we have typed everything, and I think we did all the corrections as we were going. And that is it, guys. Alright, I do not want to leave it as this. Alright, let me, hold on. Widen this for you to see it. So Caribbean International, Caribbean Inter-Island Airways announces its annual post-millennium special July 6 to September 30, 2001 and the information. Swing into the new century, come fly with us and the information is there. Let me quickly go to print preview for you to see what this looks like. Alright, so that is the second page. This is page one. Alright, and remember it's typewriter days. What I'm going to quickly do for you is to just, let me close out of this, quickly go and get a graphic and add to this for you to see what it would look like with 2021. Alright, um, I need to go to hold a second, I need to go on Google. google.com what am i going to get just come fly with us so it must be an airplane it must be a travel agency right so we can choose a graphic right um who's an appropriate graphic come fly with us This doesn't look bad, but right, I'm just going to quickly choose. This looks like a video. I'm just going to quickly choose something. I don't want this to be too, the video to be too long. Right, so I'm going to right click, select copy image. And come back here enlarge the screen and try to insert it maybe I should have chosen something with some color all right but that's that's besides the point it's just that you need to know how to insert graphics for your exam all right so there it is and it fits perfectly too all right there it is I'm gonna come up a bit with this yeah that's it wow perfect all right, so print preview again, guys, and that is it. Or well, this information came down on the page. You know I have to fix it, right? All right, so there it is. Print preview for the final time, all right, and that is it. 
all right so thank you guys very much for watching do hope you learned something although this was a paper from way back when right do hope you learned something here today if you did please give the video a big thumbs up please also share this video with your friends so that they too can benefit from the content please comment down below for me to know how you are going right with these questions as you prepare for your examination and also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel to become a part of my EBPM family and if you know of someone who is a member of this channel meaning that they frequent the channel to watch the videos and they have not subscribed talk to them tell them help to support the creator of the content all right thank you guys very much for watching and see you in my next upload as I try each and every time to make EDPM simple. Goodbye.